Hello everybody and welcome back to another Dark and Darker video. I have not uploaded in a while so please do forgive me. But that all changes today considering Dark and Darker has been released since last we spoke. Dark and Darker has released. We got a brand new class, the Warlock, and I've been playing nothing but Warlock. I made a mini series on the Cleric, so I figured, hey, why not do the exact same thing for the Warlock? So this is my solo Warlock series, episode one. Now, just to open us up here, I thought I, I've been trying to do some mining. I've been trying to get some of the Cobalt gear. I noticed that the Templar Cobalt armor, the Warlock can actually wear, even though they can't wear normal Templar armor, which I thought was very curious. But hey ho, there we go. Um, all in all, tips for the Warlock. Let's just have a quick rundown of the Warlock. It's an unfinished class, okay? So you are going to come across certain difficulties while playing it. Um, there is some gimmicks, and I know a lot of you are already thinking to yourselves, like those of you that are playing Dark and Darker, you already know the magical healing. When you have magical healing on a Warlock, it makes it broken. Um, but, you know, that's kind of annoying to do all that, right? Got a Barbarian. He's using the Short Axe, so luckily we managed to just stay out of the range, and we're coming in for a few slashes and then backing up. Coming in for a few slashes, then backing up. He's not being aggressive and pushing. One hit did take like three quarters of my life. So he definitely could have won that engagement. But I think he just panicked a little bit. And he's got like a full little grey set for me. Nice. So looting up the Barbarian. I suggest when running a Warlock to bring in a grey spellbook and a grey longsword. Let's jump over for a minute to the skill menu just so I can show you the perks and skills that I'm running. So in terms of your perks, I run Torture Mastery, Malice, Dark Enhancement and Dark Reflection. As far as I understand, Dark Enhancement doesn't work for anything other than Dark Reflection. Um, so it can seem a bit like a pointless one. You might possibly want to run Anti-Magic or maybe Immortal Lament so you don't kill yourself at like no HP, something like that. But to be honest, th this one's slightly more interchangeable. The one that isn't ent uh, interchangeable is the Torture Mastery. You must always run Torture Mastery. It's your way of healing. Usually, I run Phantasm, or Phantomize, I should say, which basically just turns you ethereal. You can't swap anything, and you can just run through mobs and enemies. But recently, I've been going for Blow of Corruption because it adds a way to, like, sort of scare your opponent. I don't, I, people don't expect the, your sword to hit so hard. And Blow of Corruption, you can use literally every 12 seconds. The reduced healing rate is really, really nice, especially when it comes to fighting a, you guessed it, a fighter. Um, you pop Blow of Corruption give them a smack whilst you're fighting them and then all of a sudden their second wind is like not healing anywhere near as much as they want it to and uh, it definitely stresses them out a little bit. It can really turn the tides of the fight in your favour, certainly. Quickly, just going over the spells, we've got Power of Sacrifice, Curse of Pain, Curse of Weakness, Hellfire. All you need to know about them is this one gives you a strength buff but damages you or dam damages enemies and it does heal you just like Curse of Pain does. You can stack both of these on top of each other. If you do put on Curse of pain and you're fighting something like the worm boss um you can jump up onto the ledge here just, ju just drop a curse of pain and then just keep spamming hellfire as hellfire goes through an enemy with curse of pain on it you will heal for the ticks of hellfire damage uh so they are some pretty useful little tidbits just for you to be aware of and the curse of weakness reducing the base stats that does include movement speed so if you can get it off on a fighter that's trying to like sprint you down or something like that it can be really 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 helpful uh, let's go back over to the game. So we just finished looting the Barbarian and we need to make our move in towards the circle. Um, we've got a decent amount of loot. This is probably, this exact area is probably my favourite area in all of Goblin Caves because this place right here has got all the treasure sitting on the shelves and it's a really nice way to just grab it, smash all the pots, stack yourself up with like plenty of jewellery and then just head, head out of there. Only reason I'm not doing it at this very moment is because the circle is going to be coming in any minute and I also know that I'm about to get swarmed here with enemies. So we just tried to take our time, dodge the way out of these. The death, the death beetles are so annoying. 
Um, but if you side strafe most of the time, you can get away from them. Skelly Champion's there, and I'm thinking, oh, hell no. Straight forward from here is the Worm Room, which is literally, I was just showing you how to deal with that. Uh, so the door smashes. We will just fast forward past this, this part here. Just so, uh, I mean, you, you get the premise. You don't want to see me sitting here throwing a dot and spamming Hellfire for like three minutes. Um, so we do that. We go about it and we just get the, the worm done, killed, finished off. And this is a great way as well, guys. If you are playing Warlock and you do this strat, it's a great way to just get rings and stuff like that. I end up selling like a... Um, was it, I think it was like a physical damage ring for like 400 gold. It was absolutely ridiculous. And I just got it from farming this, um, this boss here. So pretty decent way of making some gold through doing this, you know, 400 gold for just a ring ain't too bad. Uh, we end up getting to just this section. We're clearing out and I can see the extraction portal with my very own eyes. I've got enough loot. I'm thinking I want to get the hell out of here. And just as I'm looking at it and listening because i can hear somebody above me i end up hearing some footsteps behind me and it's a fighter just <laughs> running in the dark at me uh i use the dark so i can dodge a few hits which ends up saving my life and uh because i got a falchion i can keep that thing pretty close so i end up just grabbing you know his basic jewelry and i'm thinking okay i just want to get out of there i should have really thrown away my frock and uh, taken the scroll, but never mind. Hey-ho. Um, so as I'm beginning to load up the escape portal, you can hear the ranger loading up the bow. I backstep. That arrow defo would have killed me, and he, <laughs> and he ends up taking my portal, uh, which, to be honest, I ain't complaining with. I think that probably ended, meant that I got out alive, to be honest there, so that's absolutely sound. And that was it. That's just a basic sort of first run. Uh, this is what you can kind of expect, kind of, I guess, from the gameplay of the Warlock. Few, you know, last minute tips. Magical healing, if you can get it and you're doing high roller and things like that. Magical healing is what you need to really, like, put your foot down and, you know... Uh, make some real damage and get some real healing back um you'll notice a drastic increase once you can get over like plus i'd say like plus four five uh and you will notice the healing is absolutely insane did a little bit of mining i have been trying to do a bit of mining because i want to collect some cobalt gear so i've just been trying to get some of that stuff uh, a few rounds here and there as i'm going into goblin caves um so all in all, looking pretty well. Got the jewellery, sorted that out. Um, so far, we're sitting on a decent amount of gold. Again, we just hit, I just hit level 20. I've burnt through so much gold already. I've gone from like a stacked inventory to empty two or three times over. Uh, <laughs> and it, it's been great. It's been such a load of fun, honestly. I haven't had more fun on a game in such a long time. Selling our bits and pieces. Guys, just to wrap up the video, I'm going to throw some bonus footage of just a few extra kills that I've got on, on the Warlock. If you've enjoyed the video, thank you very much. Please do subscribe. There will be more to come. Next episode will be very soon. See you very soon, guys. Ciao, ciao for now. Thank you very much. Bye-bye from me.